So Arsenal go level on points with Manchester City, although City have played a game fewer than the teams around them, and just two points behind Liverpool. The other thing that they've done is seriously affect their goal difference. So they now have the same goal difference as Manchester City and only one behind Liverpool. And that could prove crucial come the end of the season. These small, dis mm. uh, small differences in a season that's looking as, as tight as this one could be significant. Yeah, and it was around this time last year where there was a lot of pressure on Arsenal because there were so many points clear. There were six, seven points clear, so everyone was thinking they're going to win the league. Whereas now, they're just sat there in the pack, right on the shoulder. And it may suit them better because they've not produced the best form to this point, but they have in the last couple of weeks started just to sort of look like they're going to hit that form from last season that really put them into a position that looked like they could win the league. So they just need to stay focused, calm, keep their players fit. They're good in a lot of areas. And if their front players who are really exciting can start to score the goals that they've not been doing earlier on in the season, they've got a real chance, a real chance because... They're a good team and they should be more experienced after last year. I know last week we were joking, you know, you know Cara talked about the celebrations. Well, there was the whole thing about the celebrations, but, but in the wake of that, having celebrated as much as they did against one of their, their title rivals, do they then need to follow that up with a win? And not just a, a scraping a win, but a really emphatic performance against West Ham. They, they did, they done, they've done the right thing to them. They've won emphatically. They're hitting the form. The celebrations point is not... It, it, it's not a weak point. It's, I know there's a lot of jokes been made in the last week, but last year we it's did... It's not about not enjoying it. No. It, look, celebrate when you win a goal, no problem at all. But you know, when you actually ramp up your excitement and your anxiety levels on a constant sort of uh, for a constant period and for a long period like they did last season. You know, I always go back to Zinchenko tooting his horn at the, at the fans after Bournemouth three months out. If you're thinking about that level of excitement and that sort of level of anxiety that he's got in them, that just saps energy. It's just proven fact. It's not a, it's not a sort of Gary Neville thing. It's the thing that happens. If you are constantly sort of here at full tilt, you do use up energy. They need to just remain focused and composed. And last season, they did lose their legs a little bit on the running. Young players lost their legs. So they just need to remain calm, determine that face, sort of keep the players fit. With Rice in the team, they're a lot better. Saliba's fit. They've got a really good chance, Arsenal. But they're up against Klopp. They're up against Guardiola and City and Liverpool. That's big. And Mikel Arteta, if he was to drive a bus through those two and sort of win this league this year, it would be a monumental achievement. But he's in with a chance. And I think just making sure they just stay calm and composed is important. And being able to raise their energy as they did last weekend yeah. against Liverpool when it's a, a title challenger and yeah. then put in a composed performance against West Ham, get that big win as they, they did today. Is this part of the reason that they can have those calmer moments on the pitch down to the, the acquisition of Declan Rice? Yeah, personalities and big players and experienced players. Yeah, you've got to get that balance right. Listen, we all scoring goals and celebrating is fantastic. But I agree with what Gary said, you've got to keep the balance. I think they're definitely more equipped than I think last season. I think players like Declan, with that physical presence in there, the quality we've seen from set pieces today, the amount of goals they scored, obviously, particularly today. But Rice will make a big difference to that. I, I think so. And I think it's always really important as well for any of the top teams. And Liverpool are brilliant. We saw again Man City. Set pieces, they're a huge part of football. We've seen that again today. You've got Rice putting in, you've got big, strong players attacking it. Yeah, Rice is going to have, Rice is going to have a big part of if, if, if Arsenal to win the title. Rice is a very rare player. In that when, when, when we were playing sort of back in the day, you had sort of Roy Keane, Steven Gerrard, Patrick Vieira, players who could almost, that power and that force to go and get the footing and take the ball off players. He has that about him. He gets the players so quickly and he makes up that ground through those long strides and he's just, he's an animal in there really. He's a force and something that is rare. Honestly, it's really, really he rare. he plays every week, Gary. I, yeah. I, I think we can underestimate. He's available to the manager week in, week out. He was obviously at West Ham. And to Arsenal, when you have a big player like that and you know he's available, he's not missing two or three games, come, he's always there. And he's that physical presence out there. We've seen the quality of his play today with obviously a brilliant goal. But I think that physical side of it, when you are having an off day, it's nice when you look at your team and you look and you go, we've got some big strong boys out there who can maybe get us over the line today when we're not quite at our best. It also allows them, I think, to play Jorginho, who can bring real composure in big games at times because he's got the legs to actually cover for Jorginho's lack of legs. There's a couple of times last season when Jorginho was playing and he looked like... You know, he's just he's too slow. Sometimes it's like that with Casemiro. He's better with Manu, Manu alongside him, Casemiro. But when he was on his own earlier on the season with Mount and Fernandes, he just looked like he couldn't get across midfield. With Rice there, you always feel like they can sort of get there. Vieira was like that for Arsenal for years. He just covered the ground so well. It's unbelievable what he used to do.